today's video we will discuss about parameters in power query that means how can you create the parameters and how can you use into your power query the very first comes how you can create the parameters well there are two ways to create a parameter number one comes from an existing query in your power query window you can right click on any of the query and then you can convert to parameters that's the one way now the second option is using the manage parameter window you can fill in this form whatever you are going to see in your screen right now like your name your description what kind of value you are required over there that means the type or the suggested value or the current value so you can fill over there everything and then click ok then it's going to create a new parameter for you right now i'm in my power bi service account and over here going to my this demo workspace over here i'm going to create a new data flow click over here then i'm going to use define new tables add new tables and over here where i'm going to get the data i'm going to get the data from excel workbook for that what i can do i'll click over here and this data is in my OneDrive. now you should note over here that you should always use the same credentials throughout your accounts for example if i'm going to use my OneDrive or my sharepoint and my power BI service account so your account should synchronize throughout if you will use some another account for example i'm using different accounts for my OneDrive or for my power BI service it's not gonna work so let me show you how to do that link to file from OneDrive. so if i'm gonna use ajay sharma 2061 and i enter my password over here let's see what happens it's gonna ask yes but now i'm gonna get an error message which is saying you must browse OneDrive for business as the current user not a different one please sign in as a different user why it's happening because over here you will see my account is audit at baconsultingpro.com so that means two different accounts and that's why I always suggest you as a best practice, please always use same account constantly to your all the services that you're gonna use. So we are gonna link it, but this time we are gonna use the same account. That means my audit one. And here you can see it's been logged in. Even if it's popping out, it can ask for the credentials. You can enter over there. But this is my file over here, which is my data file for the orders. And I'm gonna use it over here. So select this file. Now it's being connected over here. If you are using any on-premise file or server, then you have to use your data gateway. If you want to authenticate yourself, you can do it over here. And the authentication kind, we have already discussed everything about these authentications, data source in our previous Power Query videos. So let's click on the next button over here. And here we have our table. So we just want this orders table. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna transform the data. 